please consider hitting subscribe button to support my channel and follow me on Instagram. Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well. Another week, another video. So I'm very much grateful to all of you guys who have messaged me on Instagram, who have watched my previous videos and have suggested some of the improvements that I should make. Uh, I really appreciate it. Please leave your comments uh, either through DM or uh, here on YouTube. I'll definitely try to improve on top of it. So with that, let's move into today's topic. Uh, this video and this topic, I think it's all, it's more of caveats. It's kind of subjective and it's emotionally connected. So let's try to analyze it in a practical and logical way. So here it goes. When we are saying that nothing is irreplaceable, uh, literally meaning that everything has has a substitution of it. So which brings in a lot of confusion uh, to say whether everything falls in that umbrella. Is everything replaceable then? Uh, this is a question that comes into my mind. So I'll mention a quick caveat because this is one of the most uh, emotionally connected topic uh, where you cannot literally replace your own parents uh, with someone because the offsprings, uh, we offsprings are literally the cell and tissues of our own parents. So there is no substitution for our parents. But however, uh, this can be debatable. Uh, the, the, the persona, uh, of who they are as a role model for us, who gives an inspiration to us throughout our life can be found slightly or like in a similar way uh, in, in future in form of our partner, like our children, uh, maybe our teachers or some friends to an extent. Again, it's not the equal amount of all the things that we get from our literal parents or like siblings. So with that aside and clearly kept to one side that, you know, these tight bonds, the sentimental bonds cannot be replaced because we are very much tied to it. Let's go and revisit into this societal setup uh, where this subjective topic can be uh, turned into a logical uh, explanation or can be applied uh, to actually lead your life and think practically whenever we say uh, like a player a cricket player is uh, not replaceable at all there is no one who is gonna be like Sachin uh, there's no one who's gonna be like uh, Dhoni they, there's no one who's gonna captain Indian cricket team like Dhoni ever and win so and so World Cup uh, I think that look at the possibility like we still have a couple of billion years to live. And uh, if we calculate the probability, don't you think that India would win World Cup like in a row for three times or four times, something like that, in those billion years? It, obviously, they can. So there is every bit of possibility that any person in the future can do way much better than the previous person but they literally cannot replace the persona or the aura of a person who left their mark behind. In practical sense, so uh, the future generation of people have more uh, chances to beat our records or any of the things that we have set, uh, meaning they would be more efficient and more successful on paper with respect to the records or metrics that we have. But when we compare to the persona itself, they might not match the persona because persona is uh, unique. E every people are unique, uh, like our own fingerprints and iris. So there cannot be a match with respect to the people themselves. But what they bring in onto the table, that can be replaced or that can have a higher value than uh, the predecessors. But the interesting fact is, so we people, we are mostly attached to our own ideologies and uh, things that we like to attach to. So, for example, I might have my own personal uh, favorite singer. Uh, you might support a favorite sport team and another person might, uh, you know, support or love uh, any person from any profession. So we we think that these uh, these people or group of uh, people or 
a sports team or any of the same so these are the best for us and are not replaceable at any point of time because we the way we see uh, them uh, is is entirely different the perception itself is different it all comes down to uh, a single thing uh, where a, one thing is irreplaceable for a person where the same thing is easily replaceable to another person so if we would be in an everlasting sea of confusion here uh, at this point of time i would like to uh, say a scenario where uh, it's a, it's in an episode of Game of Thrones, which is happening between Varys and Tyrion Lannister. So Varys uh, gives an option uh, amongst you know to Tyrion that amongst king, a soldier, and a normal person, I think, who he thinks uh, is more powerful. For which Tyrion believes that at that point of situation, soldier is more powerful. Then Varys replies back saying that, you know, why do we bow to king then? So then he ultimately takes out uh, the end court saying that power resides where people believe it resides. So this is uh, the most powerful court that hit me at that point of time, which I still believe. And it's very much true, uh, which is happening all around uh, the world. Uh, we tend to give the utmost priority or importance to anything because we believe that it needs that attention or that priority. So we believe that that singer is worth uh, the attention and we tend to give the power or make them uh, stars. Similarly with the case of actors, similarly with the case of sports people. We tend to give attention to cricket more than any of the sports in India. So that is why cricket is uh, the top sport in India and not over the world. Deriving from that line, if we see in that perspective, there is always a tree uh, taller than the other tree. So when I say that, uh, that there is always a mountain peak higher than the other peak, you might argue that Mount Everest is the highest peak uh, on, on, on Earth. So I would say that so Mount Everest is the highest peak in Earth, then there might be more peaks in the universe, right? And universe is ever expanding. It is not a constant. It is ever expanding. So there is numerous peaks that might be a hundred times or thousand times more bigger than Mount Everest if we really take big picture. So we are a minute thing in the entire universe. The costliest phone, if we can argue, uh, might, might be let's say an X phone, uh, which is the most costliest phone in the most advanced configuration that we can have. Uh, that can be beaten by a phone, which is purely made in gold. And this phone can be, you know, uh, this phone can be dwarfed by another phone, which is purely studded in diamonds. And that could be beaten by another phone, which is uh, made from rare metal or something it, it can it can go on so if we try to see the peak it will only rise and it is infinite also saw this image of you know Dwayne Johnson the rock standing beside a person where he appears to be tall and Dwayne Johnson himself is standing beside Shaquille O'Neal where he is not that tall no, Shaquille is tall and Shaquille himself being like I think seven foot or something is is you know a dwarf to another tall guy so this clearly explains that there is something or someone who is uh, bound to replace you at some time who would be fit enough uh, to replace you at the end it, it's all it's all universe call so there the world must go on things must go on it will never end uh, your place should be and will be taken up by uh, other person because uh, things should move on. It should self-balance itself. Moral of the story is there is no clear conclusion for this topic because what is in one person's perspective is very much different from another person's perspective. It's highly relative, highly subjective, uh, but but the, the, the only thing or uh, uh, or a logical way that we can come to a conclusion is belief is in our hands and belief uh, is in our mind 
we should only invest our belief to such an extent that uh, we could invest in some topic that it deserves to be invested. So we should invest carefully, should not deeply believe in some of the happening things. So we should carefully invest our belief in what we think it should be invested in. I think this is one of the most complex topic that I found to address it on this video. I definitely like to know how it went and how I could put out my thoughts in this video. Uh, please do leave your comments and thoughts. Uh, do DM me on Instagram. So I'll come up with some of the most topics that I'm working on. Uh, if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.